I've been working with Victor for four years virtually. He's 17 years old and about to graduate from high school. I've never met him in person. He's a challenging student to work with. He's very task avoidant. He doesn't do homework most of the time. His processing speed is very low. He has high functioning autism. Over the years, I've tutored him in every subject from high school entrance exams to college entrance exams to algebra. His reading level went from a fifth grade level to a 10th grade level, and his reading comprehension level went from a fourth grade level to a 10th grade level. One area that he has struggled with throughout the years that I've been tutoring him is writing. Perhaps as a result of his autism, Victor has a very small ability to make inferences about human behavior. This inability poses a challenge when he reads novels and has to answer discussion questions about characters. For example, if I ask him to explain how a character demonstrates empathy in a book, he gets stuck because he doesn't know what empathy means. Then after I, after I explain to him what empathy looks like in real life, I have to guide him to write sentences as he has severe problems articulating himself in writing. He can articulate himself very well when he speaks. However, it doesn't generalize to his writing. No matter what I did, he wasn't making sufficient progress in writing. I've started to use structured writing with him. The idea did not come to me until recently because his reading level is so high. Usually people with very high reading levels are able to transfer the skill of reading into writing. Structured writing is basically a method for helping struggling writers generate ideas and thoughts. An example of this is that the teacher can provide all the questions for an essay and then have the student write out the answers to the question in essay format. It's not a challenge to create structured writing assignments. What does take time is finding the strategy for introducing structured writing to the student. With Victor, I used the strategy of first asking him to answer yes or no questions regarding a character in a book. For example, a question could be, was Michael a man of morals? Then Victor has to answer yes or no. So yes, Victor was a man of morals. The second question he's given is a question wherein he has to state how the character was a man of morals. In other words, a detail. Thirdly, he's asked to provide a detail about the detail or a supporting detail. That's the approach I've used with him. There are an unlimited amount of approaches to use when teaching structured writing. Victor has made a 180 in writing. He's much better able to formulate ideas and generate new thoughts. Victor will need to use structured writing templates from the teacher for the foreseeable future until generating ideas for essay becomes normalized behavior for him.